There is an art we have lost as men. <laughs> and it is just so fine. Bring the, the lady an apple, a fruit, pull chairs for open. Uh, and you ladies appreciate these small things because they are thoughtful. Yeah. Bring those small things that are thoughtful, yeah. but they have, a, they have an affectionate angle to them. Yeah. For the lady, it's, 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 it's things like touching the guy's shoulder, maybe during a goodbye. Or, and ladies, your eyes are very powerful. Mm -hmm. You can hypnotize a guy without saying a word. Boom! <laughs> Just a glance. And it's microsecond. Mm -hmm. And he will never forget that. He will fantasize that. I told ladies that you must never make the move outrightly yourself. The way ladies make the move is indirect. And mm -hmm. your eyes are so powerful. Mm -hmm. You can overwhelm the guy without saying it. Mm -hmm. Until he is forced to admit. Akiata <laughs> Mimi. You know, you can actually do it. Yeah. So, so introduce romance in your interactions, your body language, your communication. Uh, but please avoid the temptation of one day waking out of the blues and bombing the girl or with the guy with a long WhatsApp message. <laughs> That's awkward. It's I've not always loved you. It's not creative. <sighs> I will die. Don't talk like that. <laughs> Don't talk like that. Be subtle. Be creative. Keep it cool. Introduce Keep it, cool. it. You know, make it playful. The second, <laughs> the second strategy is very good and it should come after these first ones. Mm -hmm. Arrange a date. Arrange like a, a dinner. Date. Yes. Yeah. And make put effort to make and maybe do it differently from you know if you're used to just hanging out, and don't take her to the same place you usually you. hang out. You Thank know what you. I mean? So make try sure and make it like different. Decisively romantic. Mm -hmm. Decisively. You have learned this girl, you know what she likes now. Yeah. <laughs> you know her flowers. Yeah. You know what she likes, the colours. Put all those and you can time it with her birthday or something that is important to her. Mm -hmm. And make it so now during that event, because we said you started introducing romance in your interactions. Strategically, yeah. I must pole, tell, pole too. We I have must to tell say guys it has that to be slow. strategy is the is really the way to implement what you think. After you decide, I think this is a girl I want to uh, to, to to love now. Mm -hmm. We have been friends. I've known her now. I'm feeling these feelings. You start introducing subtly. subtly. In fact, uh, in, insinuation is the language of pleasure because it, it invites interpretation. Mm -hmm. Why did he do that? Why was he thinking? Leave her thinking. <laughs> You know, what, what was that touch as we parted? Okay. What was that glance? Okay. This flower. Yeah. Now this. <laughs> so be indirect. Stage okay. two, arrange a date and make it very romantic. Yeah. During that date, when you see the emotion is right, you can now actually declare your emotions. Yeah. When you see the emotion The is moment right. is right. Yeah. It might not be that night. You might need to plan fact, another one. Yes. You yeah. can choose a different one. Yeah. So when the two pole polems... <laughs> <laughs> Do, not love bomb. <laughs> Do not love bomb. All right, guys, we need to take a break. Uh, but we'll be back with Benjamin Zulu as we continue trying to help a brother and a sister out here to get out of the friend zone. Okay, if you're trying to, you know, take your relationship, your friendship with someone to the next level, perhaps you have, you know, feelings for them. And uh, we're going to be uh, addressing this some more. And also maybe even addressing the question of what happens if when you finally do express that love to them, then they're like, they take offense. They were just not ready for it and they maybe don't even want that. How do you kind of recover from that situation? We're going to be talking about that when we get back. Double two triple nine is the SMS sign. We'll see you soon. Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Benjamin Zulu and we're talking about how to take your friendship to the next level. And um, there's an SMS that I received earlier this morning uh, during our first segment where we were talking about sexual purity that I really want us to tackle and I, I especially want to hear Benjamin's opinion on it because I think for the ones who skip these steps that you're saying about taking it slow, you know, um, showing the chivalry and being a gentleman and kind of showing your other side that you can love in that way too and not just these ones for you know bros and sister and don't uh, use that word brother yeah. <laughs> yeah don't do that um <laughs> uh, someone here asked in the morning hello and good morning joyce and uh well this is the pastor at that time and you said nice topic today uh she had a question in a comment saying i'm currently single happy i wanted to work on me before accommodating someone in my life but then once i get interested in someone somewhere along the line they want sex and i want connection first without sex 
Um, how does one manage to get the connection without being rude and making the other person feel neglected minus the sex and still have the zing, right? Still have this like emotion, like that attraction. What can you as a, I love this part with this, this part of her question. What can you as a lady offer to the table minus sex in the picture? Thank you very much. That's Sophie watching from Meru. And I think a lot of ladies really struggle with this, Benjamin, even if the guy is your friend. Because even in the movies, they show us it's that you're on a swing, you know, or you're just chilling. Kidogo, kidogo, the guy is like telling you that he's into you. Next thing, it's like a sex scene. And you're just like, wait, how did that transition happen so fast? And I think a lot of people find themselves stuck there today. And I love that she's asking, as a lady, what can I offer that is not sex? Because that seems to be the thing that we've sort of endorsed as the way to take your relationship to the next level. And we need to um, really empathize with the ladies. But I also want to tell them that it's not all men are like that. That's true. A man who loves you will respect your personal principles and they respect the process. Mm -hmm. All things that last, we need to tell men that, all things that last need patience. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. Things that are important need patience. There is more a lady can bring to the table. Please stop feeling that you have nothing else to offer. I think men, to make us a lady's son, we have really misled ladies to make you think it's only sex you can offer. <laughs> Zoom into Benjamin Zulu. <laughs> we have mis we have gotten it wrong. We have we have we have the ladies can offer support, wisdom can offer can offer you know um, emotional support, understanding, advice. It's not just sex that women can offer. Yeah. And I want to tell you that, in fact, uh, if a guy is rushing into sex, that's a, a, a bad sign mm. that he's impatient and he's not the one. Kunam Chopana Sema that she's she's called Ruth. She's been in a, in a relationship with a guy. He's always talking about sex and the way you're saying that sex is not love he's he actually tells her that no sex is is the sign that uh, si sex is the sign of true love i want to tell ruth that stop being confined to that guy can you widen your search you find other guys who think differently mm. sex is just a component it's not the only house it's a bedroom in the house of love but it's not the only room mm. there are other bigger rooms there <laughs> 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 it's not the only room there. Some some of these guys live in bed sitters and they only think in terms of bed sitter that is sex. <laughs> Oi, <laughs> I <guy>. think. <laughs> if somebody tells you sex is the only sign of love, that guy is living in a very small space like this. In fact, you should wonder, do you read books? Do you watch materials? Are there content we can talk about? What are you reading now? What are you learning? What are you growing in? Which, what is the next stage in your life? Is it only stage one sex? Stage two sex? I'm reading about sex? Studying about sex? Coming back to sex? To Meskia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like playing that track for those coffin dancers. <laughs> for those people. Why? What do I make Kujiwa? Anyway, Benjamin, please carry on with, with this conversation. Or let me actually just try and get to some SMSs and you'll weave in your comments. And then uh, let me give you the fourth stages to get the SMS. Okay. I was saying that uh, <clears throat> the last thing is if your friend has been in a relationship and you are advising them and it has broken up, take that opportunity. Okay. If you already loved them, but you couldn't want to spoil what they were dating another person. Yeah. And they are not broken. Don't say, this is a rebound, let me give time. You'll delay there and lose them. And actually, I like what you've said, because I feel like the ones who actually allow, when you're in love with someone and they don't know, and you allow them to live out their own relationships, that is actually, you really love that sign. person. It's a good sign yeah. of patience. Yeah. The, other, the last thing is, look for and take advantage of adverse circumstances. Okay. If you already have feelings for a person and you're looking for a chance to declare them, and we've been showing these little signs. Then suddenly problems strike. You have to rescue them. They were they were they were car broken at night. You have to go and rescue them. And then emotions are high. That's the best time to declare it. In fact, it comes out like a movie. <laughs> Why do I feel like we're being manipulated? No, no. the emotions are. Oh, you're being sent away by your company. You are two weeks away from home in a seminar or you are traveling throughout the night the two of you or something or you are nursing a secret relative both of you that environment of hospital that environment of intensity fighting together we usually say that friends that fight together bind, bond together yeah. so if you're fighting through a hardship and their emotions they're saying thank you so much you can use that moment now to say yeah i've always wanted us to be more than friends Why? So you, and this was related to what you were saying earlier, that if, if, if the person that you're in love with and they don't know, um, if they come to you as a rebound, that's okay. You already know each other. Rebound is only bad for people you hardly know because you're looking for a shoulder to lean on. Then you ended up in the hands of a person you hardly know. 
But if you have been friends, this is not rebound. You know each other. You have trust. You know what they like, what they don't like. You know their life. You really, you really into, you enjoy each other's, in each other's life. In fact, I have so many couples I've met. They, 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 they started dating when the, one of them now experienced a breakup. Because we said, look for opportunities of rescue. When you can rescue, run. Use that opportunity now Ngeo to declare. And, shining armor. and I want to tell men especially to be very watchful for the needs <laughs> of the girl. Uh -huh. Come on, Asumbuliwa, she's looking for a house. Dedicate your whole time to expend effort to get her a new house, Come get her on. that new job. Go help. That helping is very emotional. And okay. because you're looking for a chance, for an emotional moment to declare your love, uh -huh. create it. Because she'll remember those moments. Yes. And those moments are very emotional. In fact, they, they glue people together. When you're fought through a crisis together or you're fought through a situation together, being helpful. That's how Moses found a wife. Mm-hmm. He helped some ladies get water quickly for their chemos okay. <laughs> and help them through a situation. That's how he ended up marrying that family.